Life is a constant journey, and it never fails to surprise me wherever I go. I love traveling and experiencing new things. It makes life that much more interesting and exciting. I was born and raised in Melbourne, Australia for the first nine years of my life, and then I moved to Shanghai, China, where I lived out the past nine years. For college, however, I wanted a new place to call home, so I applied to Northeastern University and was accepted. I was ready to live in a completely different environment, but never would I have thought that Rome would be my home for the first semester of college. This is my and you in Italy experience. I've always wanted to live in Europe and explore the difference in culture and depth in history has to offer, but I didn't think that opportunity would come so early. Coming to Rome, I was able to walk around some of the world's most historical sites and live in one of the world's most historic cities. During our time here, we attended John Cabot University, a small American university situated in the district of Trastevere. We attended classes Monday through Thursday, leaving Friday and the weekend free for studying, traveling, or just kicking back with friends. We lived in the Janicola residence, which was about 5 to 10 minute walk away from our classes. Living together made us all become closer friends as we munched on picos during Sunday night football, watched movies, cooked food for potlucks, and going on late night gelato and donkey punch runs. With three roommates, we shared a kitchen, a dining area, one bathroom, and possibly the best living room in all of the Nicolo. While all of us are business majors, we all have a shared passion for art and interior design, and we try to express that hidden talent of ours by decorating our living room. With hints of modern art and timeless pieces, our living room feels that much more like home. Assignments and deadlines are always hard to deal with, but with the luxury of having a long weekend, it was super convenient for us to escape our problems and relieve some stress. We traveled outside of Italy and explored other parts of Europe in search of new Snapchat filters. We do as the Romans do, and ventured off into the Vatican, went to two Roma games, and explored the diverse culinary options Rome has to offer. From 15 euro all-you-can-eat sushi, to takeaway pizza boxes, to American barbecue houses, I'd say we really got to experience true and authentic Italian cuisine while we were here. As a part of the program, we were assigned to service learning projects in which we would do some form of community service for the local area. I took part in La Ronda de la Solidarieta, and our main goal is to serve breakfast to the homeless. The food came from nearby restaurants and bakeries that would donate any leftovers from the day's work, which goes to show how close the local community is. They all want to help those who could use an extra helping hand. During my time there, I was assigned the tasks of passing on bread, serving hot beverages, and pouring sugar into people's drinks. And while they weren't the hardest things to do, it made me realize how a small action can go a long way. It was definitely worth it as I got to watch the smiles on each person's face go from ear to ear every morning. Life always has a way of surprising you. Studying in Rome has been an amazing experience and I truly am grateful for this once in a lifetime opportunity. I've made countless memories with my close friends. I've learned so much about myself and the world around me and from this I have grown as a person. I'm extremely excited to attend Northeastern in Boston for the next couple years but I could not have asked for a better first semester.